So let's talk about components and props. I'm referring to the React documentation so that you can also see how we can read at the documentation of any kind of languages and be comfortable with the documentation so that you will in the future if you need come back to the documentations so firstly we have to see what is actually the components actually we have seen and we have used the component in our previous episodes but in this episode we will going to have a deep look of the components so here i will create a component by creating a simple function so function name is as always cartoon and this will accept props so what is props props are just the short form for the properties so if you want you have the properties defined by rendering time so we have defined props here let's see what else we have to do we just say return then h1 tag and inside this i will say hello and then props dot name but as this is not a string we have to enclose this inside the curly braces okay so now we have to use this here to use a component it just like html so we have to open this bracket then we have to say our component name then self closing tag but keep in mind we have used this name properties or prop so we have to define that also so i will say name is equal to pikachu okay but will this work let's see so i will open terminal and then i will say npm run start and in the no time it will start the server on the browser and let's see the result it's loading and we don't have anything why this we have done everything correct this is because whatever your component name is that must be start with capital letter so first letter has to be capital now i have saved and you can see hello pikachu is there and congratulations because this is our first component so you have seen it is quite easy to use a component and actually this is a simple function a javascript function this property of using the component as a function or simply as a function as a component is the power of react this component is created via using a function we can also define a component by using class then our component name so cartoon this class has to extends react dot component and then we will use the render method so render and here curly braces we have to return and let's return exact same thing so copy from there paste it here and now if i save we firstly have some problem firstly you can see react r and component c has to be capital okay that's good but i saved this but still we are getting error this is because this time there is no props for this render method so we have to say this dot props dot name so now you can see as i saved it's reflected exactly the same with this function cartoon and this is another way of using the component via the class system of es6
and the important thing to keep in mind is that use always use capital letter for your component name one more interesting thing we have you can see we have created this cartoon component and then let's just delete this one I will also create another function or simply the component called show okay and this will have nothing just going to return what it's just returning one div so that should be div and here inside this div I'm now using the component we have previously defined that means cartoon and now I will say here the name so name is Pikachu and also the show name so show is Pokemon okay self close this and as we have defined this show so I will say hello Pokemon on props dot show and that should be inside curly braces and one more time this one and I will say Aladdin and here I will say Jasmine and let's just close this div so div is closed and now so instead of this cartoon component I'm going to render this show component so save this file and now you can see hello Pikachu on Pokemon hello Jasmine on Aladdin so you can see you can use this component inside another components also but here comes the new thing you can see I have used this div what if I don't use this what will be the result save and now it's giving error because one component can only return one element so as in the previous case there are two elements one is cartoon another is this one but now we only returning one div inside that these two are child so always a component return single element so finally where we are going to use the component component can be used anywhere where your codes are looking messed up that means suppose you are having a navigation bar in which you are having a logo you are having a name then the links then search bar so why not simplify this navigation bar and extract out each section as a new component this will be easy to use easy to manage and looks great so this is all about the component and the props and keep in mind that props are used just for showing this thing don't ever try to change the props value when you have so now everything is done let's push everything on the github so I will stop the server and I will say git status and that should be status and modified index.js file yes so git add dot now git status one more time yeah that's good git commit with a m flag of message called components and props and props done then git push and everything is on the server yeah so go to github.com slash bitfume slash react tutorials and here now there are four commits so if you are on a previous episode just go click here and you will get the source code 
for up to that episode only so we will meet in the next episode till then if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram